Well, Moritz, happy Friday, sir. Welcome and thank you for spending some time with us today. Uh, no, I, my, mic, my, my microphone is on perfect. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Yes, yeah, I'm glad uh, we got to chat and say hey just a few weeks ago um, on a panel together and I was glad to like hear and learn more about Albi and obviously the, uh, the WordPress um, extension has been off to a good start from everything that I've seen so congrats to you guys and on the progress. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, this is this is one thing that we are working on at Albi. That is true. I'm also very excited about that one. <laughs> well, good deal. Well, um, while we uh, wait for folks to just um, pile in here, maybe for those that are here listening, um, start off and just give us maybe a quick high level just about uh, your background, how you got involved with Albi to start off. Yeah, sure. Um, so I got into into whole, like Bitcoin already quite some time ago um, and I also um, have been um, following the lightning um, community since its beginning basically um, and uh, like really like hands-on working with some lightning project that was around two years ago um, I did some research um, I wrote some research articles for Google Ventures where I got to know the whole ecosystem quite well um, and at some point I um, found um, the lightning browser extension that was called Albi or is now called Albi basically and um, as it's a purely open source project I um, said look it's a great team it's a it's a great vision um, what 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 they have there um, then I joined and since then I've been working um, on on Albi um, um, full time. Um, I do mainly project management there, um, um, but marketing, content creation, yeah, and help uh, this project to succeed. And um, in the meantime, we we've been quite productive, and um, have been pushing some things out, like the Albi browser extension. Uh, some people might know it. Um, the WordPress plugin is one part. So it's really all about. Um, how can we um, yeah, facilitate Bitcoin transactions on the web, like for consumers, for developers, and also publishers? Awesome. So I've, I got to say, I've had some fun with the browser extension. I went through uh, probably like five weeks ago and connected my wow. voltage node through it, made some payments, <laughs> um, and just toyed around. And it, it worked great for me, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm curious for those who maybe already have the extension, but they're just now hearing about the WordPress plugin. How do these, how do these two uh, like integrate and just work with each other? Can you maybe paint a picture for those who do not understand fully how the two, uh, I guess, serve each other and what value it brings to the to the internet? Yeah. So, um, of course, I mean it's it's um, it's not easy to to transact Lightning like natively on the web, and that's why we built the Albi browser extension that really allows for these programmatic interactions, right? And that's and, and I mean that you do not have to scan QR codes anymore. You do not have to look for your phone and then make a make a payment um, on the web. This works through the Albi browser extension quite seamlessly right now, and. Um, um, but it needs some tools to interact with, like websites to interact with. And um, this can be, for example, a, uh, a website that runs on WordPress and has this plugin installed. And um, um, and then you can act, interact with these um, paywalls or donation widget, depends on how you um, integrate this, this WordPress plugin um, quite seamlessly because it's all like just clicks that you need to do. You can have, um, you can set budgets, for example, on on a website like this, um, and then you have one-click payments even. Um, so this is really like this is the consumer side. So um, through through some um, like standards like WebLN, we make the interaction um, like the the user experience um, better, easier um, to make these microtransactions. And then there's the other side like the creator side and there we are thinking okay how can we actually yeah, help them help creators earn um, 
earn something for the hard work they do uh, and monetize, help them to monetize their content. And for us, Bitcoin is like the, the perfect, perfect money to do that. It's really like for us, it's the internet money, especially on the Lightning Network. And that's why we, we, we came out with this WordPress plugin. And um, this means if you are an Albi user, for example, if you have the Albi wallet, um, then you can also um, 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 link that basically to your WordPress plugin and receive payments there. Now, you do not need to be a... Um, um, I'll be like wallet user to use the WordPress plugin, but this is really like the two sides. So it, you can use it um, via the extension, the Albi extension, or through um, the Albi wallet that you can link to the to the to the plugin and then receive payments in your wallet. Got it. And I remember seeing, I think three or four months ago. Marty Bent, I know he uses the Ghost content platform, which he uses a like a gated feature where someone pays 10 sats to read, but Ghost is nowhere near as adopted and used as WordPress is, which is like 40% of the web, I believe. So mm -hmm. is it essentially giving that optionality to content creators, like for those maybe who understand what Marty's doing, but if I'm understanding correctly? Yeah, exactly. So um, that was also... The one reason why we started with WordPress is just because of, of the, the, the broad adoption uh, of this content management system. Um, and uh, we thought, okay, um, we need to do something there. Let's start uh, with uh, WordPress could be a low hanging fruit. There. Let's give all the WordPress users uh, an easy to use tool to accept lightning payments. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's open source. I think Marty also, um, with his developer, um, maybe they also plan to open source their um, plugin for Ghost. That would be cool because then also others can contribute, help to develop it. Um, I think this is what we need right now in this ecosystem: more tools. Um, because yeah, um, then uh, that could also lead to broader adoption, right? Absolutely. Uh, what is the just the, the feedback or the reception been thus far ever since it's come out. Do you have any updates on that? Um, yeah, so so actually quite quite good. Yeah, uh, we are uh, really happy with uh, so far with with the adoption of of this of this WordPress plugin. We are not yet um, actively advertising it. Um, we at some point we probably will do, but we also see this as a as a like very community driven tool. Um, with its current status because it's open source and it's also um, you you can plug in different backends for example you do not need to use your albi wallet you can use any lightning address that you have you can also use like voltage yeah because it um, you can plug in your lnd node um, and therefore we appreciate for example if also others help us to to distribute it or or install it try it out give us feedback um, and um, the, 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 the first adoption is, is quite cool, uh, I have to say. So there are also some, some, some like really representative sites that are using that. And it's nice to see if you build something and other use that, it gives you a quite satisfying feeling. Nate? Hey, hey. This, is, this has been awesome. I, I'm really a huge fan of WordPress. I've been using like BTC pay server plugins and there was a couple other paywall plugins and uh, the Albi one uh, I haven't got to play with yet, but I think I will later today. I, I was aware of the extension for the longest time is so, so are the functions like, like you would expect sort of from, from a web. So like, um, can I do paywalls for content? Can I make it as a payment option for something like storefront? theme or um, what are the options I can do with the plugin? Yeah, so it's really optimized for either for the value for value use case um, or for selling digital content, um, mainly articles there um, um, or videos um, and not yet for um, for like, um, yeah, selling goods, bigger goods, also okay. that 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 need shipping, for example. 
Um, but um, what you can do is basically you can add a donation widget, for example. Um, you can also then um, add a paywall um, with different functionalities. This is also quite cool because you can yeah experiment a bit. Um, you have a timeout paywall or a time in paywall or, for example, a paywall that um, um, turns turns off after a certain amount is collected from um, readers. So these are all things that 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 you can try out, uh, for example. Or if you are a podcaster, um, what you can also do there is you can add the the value tag to your RSS feed. Um, if you host your podcast on um, on WordPress, then you can add the the um, this RB plugin, um, specify the node ID. Um, and custom key, custom value, basically your your payment data, um, and then you are a value for value podcaster also. So um, it is really like um, yeah, monetizing digital content. That is the focus of this plugin. Yeah, there was a a YouTuber. I forget her name, but I retweeted her. But she recently put uh, this cool video out that shows people that have an RSS show to uh, like how to connect Albi and all these things and it's really just mind-blowing because we're, we're able to now enter this global digital economy in a way uh with with lightning and i don't think a lot of people in the world see what we're building yet and it's it's a really cool feeling being on the cutting edge of the cutting edge uh because i don't think this is going to stop like what you're doing is is propelling it forward and i think that's awesome yeah, I think all of us in this community are, are working towards this, um, and this is so cool, I think. Um, but what I personally also like is, is that there are suddenly no boundaries anymore, right? I mean, you can sell your content to 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 anyone globally, basically, because anyone can pay you, um, and um, you do not rely on on yeah, like ten different payment networks. Um, we just all rely on on lightning um, no matter what wallet you use you can pay me um, um, so there are really no boundaries to to monetization anymore that is so cool about it yeah i, I can't get over it it's crazy sorry go, go ahead bobby <laughs> um no i'm just uh it, it's really exciting I'm, I'm glad we're having this conversation today because i even saw a post from uh, lyle from vita earlier and there's this uh guy on Instagram who has 200,000 followers leveraging Vita for direct phone calls and texts with consumers. And it's almost like if you wanted to have a lead generation funnel, you can literally do phone call and text for high quality engagement and then say, okay, here's your subscription to our paywalled services, pay as you go through and communicate with me if you're not getting value versus making this big upfront payment. Like a lot of like it's, it's incredibly popular to sell courses online, you know, and there's these upfront costs or these massive 80% deals. And just giving people the freedom to pay as they see fit, I think, is going to completely flip these models on their head. Like, mm -hmm. like these flash incentives and stuff. It's just really fun to think about just the ability people have. We just haven't seen enough people execute on it yet. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So uh, this is definitely something. And I would be also curious, uh, uh, like, what you think about it? How do we get there? Like, how do we reach the next wave um, of adoption on uh, what do we need to focus on um, because when I when I talk to to for example to podcasters and tell them about value for value and podcasting 2.0 so this is yeah it's all about how to innovate um, the RSS standard um, it's still it's still uh, quite a lot to explain yeah and 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 um, then I always wonder how uh, how should I start? Where should I start? Should I start to explain uh, podcasting 2.0, or should I start to explain Bitcoin? Or um, so um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, I think that we've already got a big sort of I don't know head start because we have folks like Adam Curry and a lot of big name podcasters that are spreading the word and mentioning it on pretty much every single one of their shows. So I think, uh, I think that's really important, but like already on podcast index, there's, 
I don't know, like a few thousand, I think, shows on there or more, even. Yeah, no, more than nine thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. So, so yeah, I think that. Um, I don't know. I, I I think that explaining how frictionless it is. I mean, you don't even really have to ex explain Bitcoin. It's just like, hey, you just plug your RSS into this, and listeners have the option now to just send you. You know, effectively value over the internet that you can exchange for like goods and services, gift cards, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Mm. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's, I think Lightning's also amazing, especially for the internet, because I don't know about you guys, but every time I have to put in my full name, my address, like all this crap, and my credit card to buy something online, it annoys the heck out of me. And like, I know it's such a honeypot. And, <laughs> And, but like now it's just like, hey, you know, I pay this lightning invoice. Nobody knows it's me. And it's to someone on the other side of the world. So I so to answer your question, I think it's just going to happen organically. We just got to keep talking about it and and mm -hmm. uh, keep directing people towards towards resources, especially people that show interest. You know, it's it's hard to just cold, cold call people kind of with people that it's like, yeah, I heard Adam Curry talked about this. I don't know what that is. And then, you know, that's that's a great way to uh, get into the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I totally agree. We, I, I believe we can convince users with a nicer user experience. Um, um, then people will come. I, I, I guess so too. Because with Lightning, it is definitely possible, and I, 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 I don't think that we actually already know what is what is possible. Um, you know, um, and um, we just have to show them like um, what what we can do, what we can build, um, and this this is going to be mind mind blowing, I think, in the future, um, and that's why we have to, I think, experiment a bit more um, and 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 publish things, because at some point we will find something that is really sticky where people think, okay, I've just waited for this so long, now I I finally it's there, I can use it. Um, and um, that's also why at Albi we, we uh, I think similar to you probably because you also have this like I heard at least um, like one day a month or or one day a week even where you contribute to open source projects. We do a similar thing where we just um, um, yeah also hack on other things like basically using our own stuff um, um, and and build products on it. And the idea is also like. One day, make a showcase, publish it, um, and see how people react. But really, like, use our tools that we have. Yeah. Yeah, like a demo or something. Hmm. More, it's your spot on. One of the things, like, as a, as a non-engineer, I try to think of the best use case for my time on our FOSS Friday is what we call it. And looking at what Vita's doing, what Albi is enabling, and... I think for adoption, the one thing most people don't understand how to build is like marketing and sales funnels. That's very challenging. Like, you know, 75% of small businesses fail in the first two years. And then within the next three years, the 25% that are remaining, 90% of those fail. So it's very hard to find success as a small business owner. And I think the gap that needs to be closed even more so is the sales funnel for Bitcoin. Because imagine building a sales funnel for a legacy business. It's already hard we have hundreds of years of data on that but now on the bitcoin economy it could potentially be even more challenging it's fair to say due to uh, the learning curve so mm. i uh i'm investing like for us to help people understand the practical application and how they can use it and that might be something that i need to focus on is just build like an education funnel on how to leverage the tools and start doing it because i think if we can get 40 to 50 deeply engaged people leveraging these tools that's going to give a lot of powerful feedback and really set the tone for the market as far as, you know, maybe what to do, what to do next. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So, Thanks. so you mean like you, you, you try to find like these, these evangelists um, that are, um, that use your tools um, that, but also that, that, that promote them um, through like own or self-developed apps or so. Um, is that what you mean? Yes, yeah. So like we um we sponsor Kevin Rook who made a website called stacksats.how and there's mm -hmm. over 58 tools on there and he's just creating education teaching the consumer how to use it. 
Um, obviously, we sell primarily to businesses, but um, we all, we also, as of this month, are sponsoring a gentleman named Jonathan Levi, who's creating education on YouTube. So I really believe over the next year to two, education is paramount, just not only for adoption, but also for businesses to pay attention and to lend their ear to the consumers who are demanding Lightning Network capabilities within some of these legacy products. Yep. Kyle, That's... welcome Welcome up, man. Did you have a question or want to share something? Um, I was just looking to piggyback on the uh, UX focus that Moritz shared. So, you know, I completely agree. I think as builders focus on making the user experience easier and just the more frictionless we can, you know, offer these services, the easier we're going to have um, the ability to show our friends, family, interested parties in the like opportunity here. And you guys had touched on, you know, providing demos or content. And I, I really do believe, you know, seeing is believing. And so if we can show our friends, family, folks that are curious because of, you know, their situation and their business or um, kind of whatever, what have you, I think that's what pushes us along and we can take advantage of network effects to grow the community. And so that's what has me most excited about Albi is how easy it can be to support value for value. I mean, if you're talking about um, supporting content creators with one click, um, that's pretty tremendous. And I think it's going to blow a lot of minds when it's actually shown to people. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, really excited for what's being built here. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, th thanks a lot, Kyle, for this feedback. Um, when you talk about like supporting um, um, value for value, um, like creators uh, with one click, um, can you give an example where you, you've done that, for example, uh, for, for, for the other listeners? So I'm just, I'm trying to articulate an ideal state that we can work towards by focusing on user experience. Mm. So I can't say that I've found it yet, but I think that's like the North Star that we can strive for. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, but it's actually already possible today, right? So because if um, what you could do is you could add your lightning address um, on your Twitter profile or you can add your lightning address um, with a lightning emoji in the front on, on into your YouTube channel in the bio. And then with the Albi browser extension, you could tip that, that, that publisher uh, basically with two clicks um, if you set a budget, for instance. Um, and um, this is like still like an uh, early stage we have ideas to expand it and make it even more seamless but this is the, just the shows the possibilities that we have with the lightning network we want to bring really like bitcoin to the web um where people distribute their content because if i think if we wait until we have new platforms all around bitcoin then um that is probably then probably too late so we really need to go there where people are today and infuse all these apps with lightning because then we can address the people that are there that are already on these platforms. And it's, it's super easy, yeah? Uh, I can really recommend. Um, for example, there is this channel called Area Bitcoin. They have a lightning address um, in, in their description. You can install Albi and just send one Satoshi. You can send 10,000 Satoshi. That is up to you, but it works. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to piggyback on Nate later today and get my my voltage node set up with Albi. I pursued uh, some other wallet integrations previously. Um, mm -hmm. Got a little hung up, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to actually kind of contribute and, and support more value for value through Albi. So I appreciate that highlight. Thank you. You know, another thing that's really sort of an auxiliary benefit towards this is the um, is sort of let's 
try to minimize this ad revenue model, this, you know, advertisements and all this stuff, like in the long run, creators can petition their listeners or viewers or readers to participate in this if, for their benefit, which is to not get pop-ups or not get, you know, this, this garbage that the internet is full of. And uh, that, that could be a really unique angle too for, from creators, but like creators can, you know, tell their, you know, customers this, and then on the same side, those that are consuming the content who also consume content from someone else can tell, you know, a different creator, Hey, I do this over here with this guy, you know, you should look into it. And the more people that do that, the more that can happen. Because I really think this metadata revenue model where you, people, you know, they just take all your, you know, like I said, metadata and stuff and sell it back kind of like how Google does it and everything should probably um, be, be uh, minimized if this takes off. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree. And what the, what the nice thing about um, um, direct content monetization is, um, it is like it is a total independent revenue stream for creators, right? You you can add that to your current revenues for, that you get from sponsoring um, and advertising. You can do that, but you do not have to. And especially like from day one, you can monetize your content, right? You do not need to wait until, I don't know, like you have 10,000 of downloads for a podcast uh, because then only then you become relevant for an advertiser. That's um, such a good point. That's such a good point. You can do it immediately. So Moritz, I'm very interested in your perspective. You mentioned you've um, done research, worked with Google Ventures, and you... It sounds like you have quite a perspective. A lot of people maybe don't have or a background. Like, what do you see as next over the next two to three years? What problems or hurdles need to be overcame if you're able to maybe share without spilling the beans on projects that you're currently helping with? Uh, I'm I I used to work for Google Ventures, yes, but uh, that's true. But I'm uh, like now 100% on Albi on on already uh, for a year now. So I'm not too much involved uh, into into their business, uh, I have to say. But I'm really what I'm really excited about is, um, yeah, that we see more tools that give creators a chance to monetize their content. Um, and um, WordPress, a WordPress plugin is one thing. I really also hope, for example, for an open source um, Ghost plugin, um, and. and and what exactly, yeah, we will have to see. We have to experiment. So I, I don't really believe in this typical paywall, um, I have to say. Honestly, um, I think we need, have, we need to have like smarter concepts around that, uh, combine it with, with other, thing, uh, other things um, so, so that it gets really more interesting. Um, 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 this is one thing, uh, really like more content creator tools um, that they that we give them the chance to monetize their content because there is some need for that, I believe. Um, and on on the other side, when it comes to web apps, for example, um, I really like the the strength of the of the Lightning Network is really the, these these bi-directional payments. Um, so it's not only sending payments, but it's also receiving payments. Um, and a lot of apps already provide that to their users and build in some like really bi-directional payment mechanics. And you, you, you just have to come up with a smart way to do that, right? You can, because um, you can even like incentivize people to use your app uh, by paying out some some little rewards in the form of Satoshi, for example. And so all these like little economies, um, I think that is where I'm really um, excited about uh, when, when web apps start to develop the circular economies within their apps so that uh, I don't have to buy my Bitcoin upfront. I can go there, I can try the app out. And if it's just a hundred Satoshi that I get in the beginning, but um, I, I can earn, I can spend, um, and at some point, I, then it clicks. I like the app so much, I'm even willing to top up 
um, my 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 wallet there with some external funds. Um, and I think this is this is important that we see that we give users the chance to interact with apps without um, like going to an exchange and buying Bitcoin. There's a um... I think it was John Cavallo had he has this way of where his show it's like so it's it's just a, a podcast press play button to listen we'll say it's uh, and it's like as soon as it comes out you cannot listen to it unless you pay at least a certain amount of sats and then you can listen to it uh, but after it reaches a threshold then it unlocks for everybody to listen to so after up to you know x amount of bitcoin is earned on that then it unlocks it for everybody but the people that want to listen to it right away have to pay for it something like that is that what just an example of something sort of creative oh uh, yeah exactly um totally um so yeah a, a bit more than the just okay i pay and then i get get the article um uh, for example, I could also think of um, like um, like really micro paywalls within an article. I, I, I pay per paragraph, for example, um, or I I pay per scroll that I might uh, I make. Um, um, for example, when I scroll down the article each time I do that, I pay a hundred satoshi, for example, and it's 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 so seamless, and it. It already works today with uh, the WebLN standard, for example, um, uh, and so all these 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 um, concepts around that, because um, on the one hand side you want to distribute content, right? You do not want to lock it away from your users. You want that your users actually can access this content. So if you put in a paywall, then there is a barrier, and if people always heck, constantly have to decide. Uh, do I really now want to 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 buy and, um, and 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 spend some stats or not? This is also a bit of a mental burden, I think. And therefore, we need. That's what I mean. Why we need um, more creative solutions around that. And and this this one from 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 John Carvalho is 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 one because um, you can if you wait long enough, you can access this information. But if you're a hardcore fan, for example, then you are anyway willing to to um, to um, to to spend spend something for it and purchase earlier, then you have a, um, exclusive access. And this is, for example, um, certainly interesting for, for, for hardcore fans or, and, and, and for the average fan, for example. Imagine the access that, um, so like uh, video streaming you know, services are popping up left and right. You know, Hulu, Netflix, HBO, Showtime, all, Disney, all these. Imagine if instead of having to pay monthly, you, it's just you have access to everything and it's just like a sat stream. So if I get bored in the first 10 minutes of a movie, it just cuts me off at that point. I, I, I think that that is like in, another example. And uh, that would just be hugely disruptive if someone came out with sort of a net, Netflix competitor, got some licensing to stream some TV shows and just did it uh, the lightning way. That would be really neat. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> uh, um, I think Brandon, actually, uh, who is also on your team, uh, isn't he working? I think he's working on uh, with Albi yeah. uh, um, on, on, on um, streaming stats, don't know, like per 10 seconds or so um, uh, for a video. Love to see it. This is great. Yeah, he's doing the Rick Roll video. <laughs> Yeah, waiting, waiting for a for a for a showcase. <laughs> Hopefully, he he can finish it soon. Well, good deal. Well, um, we can do a, an open question if anyone wants to like raise their hand. Feel free to pop up. Um, more. It's as far as like uh, anything Albie's working on next. Is there anything you can? share or is, uh, is it under wraps right now it sounds like uh this is just the beginning of what you guys are doing based on the uh the wording you used earlier in the conversation uh no yeah i mean we are still working towards our our vision like really enable everyone to to take part in an online economy um and um with bitcoin we have the perfect tool to that so we want to help consumers spend um, developers integrate Lightning in their, into their app with an API that is out there, um, or yeah, consumers uh, like um, sorry, um, creators to receive Bitcoin and um, around that there will be 
uh, more releases and I hope also at some point that we for example can get in a, a easier um, um, fiat to Bitcoin on-ramp service directly into the Albi browser extension so that the, um, that you can purchase um, some 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 um, sats um, directly with uh, within the extension and um, put them in whatever wallet you you connected to the extension for example I, th I hope also that the, that the, a lot of um, yeah web apps will benefit from that um, because then there are users there are more users with some sets in their pockets and that they can then spend yeah Nate I'm gonna have to peer pressure you hard into making some uh sats content for the voltage website <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> i'm gonna be like make this and we'll charge a thousand sats <laughs> find out we can use the yeah. alby extension for <laughs> dude i i mean i like that i mean I, I like what we were just talking about a second ago imagine sort of like a loading bar and it's like once it reaches x amount then everybody can read it but until then you gotta pay for it like, i love that idea so much yeah um Pressure your uh, website visitors to try out Lightning just on, on your website. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't have to be every article, but like, yeah, maybe we can have some like exclusive like ones that might might get people to to do that. Exactly, and and, and you know it it's and it could be just a symbolic amount, right? Like really ten sats or so. This is um, sure. not even a cent, uh, uh, and um, but still, you um, people have to interact that. But and you know like. After they do that, I think like the majority even feels proud of that. Okay, now I got it to uh, to work, and it's actually super cool, super simple. Now let's go and find other places to spend sats and and, and use lightning more. Right, it's like it's like you can write articles, you earn some sats from writing articles, and then you go and then use those sats to listen to music or watch movies, and it just becomes this circular global thing with no borders. No censorship, no nothing. It's, it's it's just a great vision. Yeah, I'd like to highlight what Moritz said as well, though, that, you know, by solidifying the learning, by solidifying the actual action of, you know, sending sats via this, like, simple tool, um, now that person is empowered to go share with their friend's family. So that's how we can kind of grow things as well. Mm -hmm. yes well Mort uh, we appreciate your time um, thank you for joining us again uh, as you guys have updates and new releases we'd love to have uh, you or the team on to share what's going on so we appreciate it cool thanks a lot yeah and um, I mean <clears throat> uh, we really operate in the in the, in the open so develop in the op design in the open if someone wants to um, see what's going on, um, what we plan, what we are currently working on, we have like every second Thursday, we have a community call where everyone is invited, can join, can just listen in. Um, and you can contribute whenever you want, whatever you want. So not don't need to be a designer or developer. Uh, we also appreciate any like content contribution, an article, a guide, um, videos, that's, that would be super helpful. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, if there's a, a link or anything for that or information, make sure to message it to me and I'll be sure to include that in the notes for YouTube, okay? Awesome. I will do that. Thanks a lot. All right, sir. Well, we're grateful again for your time. Thank you so much. Have a blessed weekend and uh, we'll see everyone next week. Thank yeah, you. Like, likewise. I appreciate it a lot. It was fun.